Alright BC, here we go, uh, part two of the bees continuing. Starting off with Bon Jovi, New Jersey. Everybody pretty much knows Bon Jovi. Slippery when wet. Another copy of Slippery when wet. 7,800 degrees Fahrenheit. It's the second album. I actually like the first and second album the best. Then after that, I was kind of out of them. A copy. Was a copy of the debut. In the 80s, I just remember seeing ads for this everywhere in the magazines. Before you even knew who they were, it was just ads constantly for it. Next is Bonham, Disregard of Timekeeping, Jason Bonham. It's actually a pretty good little album, just a uh, AOR or hard rock kind of thing. Another copy. Let's see, when I find cheap copies, I pick them up. As long as we're in good shape. Next is a bonfire, point blank. Nineteen eighty nine. This is a import from Holland. Bonfire, I think, was bigger in England. They uh, didn't get too much attention in the U.S. at the time. It's bonfire fireworks. Bonfire. So don't touch the light. It's on 86. It's probably uh, my favorite bonfire album. Another copy. This is Adam Bomb. Fatal Attraction. It's kind of a hard rock thing. Uh, next is uh, Bodine or Bodine, how do you say it? Three times running. And this is uh, no, it's from it's the U.S. press. I was thinking it was very important. But this band was the first band for Anthony Lucasen, which I believe is this gentleman here. I think he goes by Arjun Anthony Lucasen now. And after leaving this band, he went and joined Vengeance. And after that, he started the uh, is it Orion. And kind of a progressive metal band. I've seen uh, I have a CD or two. Pretty cool stuff. I see Lazarus talking about him. Maybe he likes him a lot. Uh, next is Blue Murder. band had uh, John Sykes, Carmine Peace. Uh, Sykes was from uh, Tiger's Pantang. He left them, joined Thin Lizzy, he left them, joined White Snake, and then started Blue Murder. Not a bad album. Another copy. Next is uh, Blue Blood, The Big Noise. These guys sound just like they look. Actually, it's not too bad. It's pretty rocking. Found this on uh, eBay a few years back. Pretty cheap. Blind buy on eBay. Grabbed it and actually really liked it. Next is uh, Blood Money. Battle Scarred. It's uh, early metal on uh, Ebony. Actually, this is their second album, I think. Yeah, from 87. Ebony label. It's one of my favorite old uh, metal labels. Just kind of the new wave of British heavy metal, but just kind of 
straight metal bands on that label. Grim Reaper started on this label. Uh, original pressings on those labels. Are, on that label is hard to find. And try and grab whatever I can find. Next is Bloodlust Terminal Velocity. It's kind of straight metal. It's on uh, Wild Rags. Label out of California. Next is Blood Good, Rock in a Hard Place. It's a Christian metal band. Another copy. It's Blood Good, Detonation. Next is uh, another Japanese metal band, Blizzard. Blizzard of Wizard is the name of the album. Was the OBI. It's from uh, 84. Yeah. Kind of good hard rock. Next is uh, Blitzkrieg, ready for action. It's a good metal band. Next is uh, some speed metal. Blessed Death, destined for extinction. I'm not real hot on these guys. It's kind of something to have for the uh, collection. Another Blessed Death. Kill or be killed. Black Tears. Child of the Storm. I think this is early SPV. 1984. It's a German import. This is a black sheep. Trouble in the streets. An enigma. 1985. And starting with the Black Sabbath at the end, moving back. I pretty much went back to the, uh, the B.O. years. Black Sabbath. It's Atlas Cross. Black Sabbath, 7 Star. This was actually supposed to be a Tony Iommi solo. And he ended up putting the Black Sabbath logo or name on it. So it's Glenn Hughes on vocals. On the copy. Here's a double collect double uh, LP collection. As the uh, it's actually the Aussie stuff. Uh, Born Again. With, uh, Ian Gillen. I was like the back of that. It's kind of odd that it looks so similar to. Uh, Speak of the Devil, Ozzy's live album from that era. It's a good album, kind of gets overlooked. This is uh, Black Sabbath Live Evil. This is a newer pressing. Found it kind of cheap, so I grabbed a copy. I have uh, two original pressings. My second favorite, Black Sabbath, which is Mob Rule, Dio's second album, with the band. Like I said, it's my favorite, so I have a few copies. Anytime I find it cheap, I grab it. And my favorite, of course, Heaven and Hell. I just think this is the best Black Sabbath album. And same deal, whenever I find it and I'll grab extra copies. So that takes us up to uh, about the middle of the Black Sabbath catalog when uh, Ronnie James Dio joined. So I guess with the uh, part three of the Bs, we'll start with the uh, Aussie era Black Sabbath and move on through the Bs. Right, thanks for watching.